Hey campers, Jimmy again, and today we have something big down here in the Denver junkyard. This is a 1977 Dodge Sportsman Road Ranger uh, conversion. Well, or motorhome, I guess. So let's take a look at this thing. But first, if you like what you've been seeing, please do subscribe and like, and we'll keep making these things. This is awesome. I love the 70s uh, Sportsman van and Tradesman by extension. Really, really cool. And this is a long one, the Road Ranger. 1977 so let's take a look obviously well obviously it's based on the um band chassis sportsman it's got the little frat sog right there very cool very neat white and brown and orange coloring gotta love that obviously made by dodge and that's interesting the white was actually repainted on top of the uh around the logo oh was it or was it just faded off i wonder maybe it's just totally faded wow that's pretty cool it was just kind of, yeah it was actually because here's a road ranger sticker and you can still see the brown or orange or whatever color paint was underneath it just backing off wow this thing's been sitting in the sun for quite some time i think let's take this whole thing in it is big and it's big this is uh very cool for traveling around the west and the east and the rest of the country gotta love it we're gonna check the whole thing out inside outside yes we are going in so stay tuned but first let's take a look under the hood because there's always going to be a big engine in one of these motorhomes and that well you cannot see much of it here but that i believe is the dodge the 440. so big 440 cubic inch v8 <coughs> excuse me which gets you there gets you back and as long as you stop at every gas station i guess so kind of interesting not much you can see here you can just kind of fill up your your fluids from the front We've got a plastic grill. Do not spill brake fluid on plastic grill. I assume it'll destroy it. Brake fluid tends to do. But my goodness, she big. Got the eight bolt hubs in the front. Another Sportsman logo right there on the door. Road Ranger insignia everywhere. And look at this. Wow. I'm not sure how long this is. Is this a 20 footer? I don't know. Quite a bit here after the dual rear axle. You've got what that's at least six maybe seven feet in the back here maybe even eight feet but wow it's big got the ladder to go up this is cool spare tire love that let's up uh, you know what can we go up oh yeah i think we can well let's try it i'm not gonna fall off my ass but oh it's not really attached at the top but we can go up a little bit and look at that Look at the view of the Rockies, people. This is the whole yard. Imports over there, domestics are beyond that. Mountains are over there. This is all trucks, SUVs, vans. This is heading north in Colorado, and this is looking towards Kansas. So yeah, but uh, that's kind of frightening that that's not attached, huh? But big old AC box unit on top there. Got a vent and a brick. <laughs> you don't really want to be following this guy. Well, let's throw the brick down because that's going to kill somebody so let's see if i can get back down as with any ladder or tree getting down is always more difficult and dangerous than getting up but i think i'm managing let me jump ah, there we go Oop, almost fell all right all right let's go look inside the cab because it's going to be similar to every other dodge cab of the era but it's kind of cool this is neat it's actually got kind of a white or off-white interior with wood it's not wood paneling this is actually printed vinyl so it's kind of a wood printed vinyl which is cool and then more vinyl down here in an off-white color kind of a bone loving that and then in here big steering wheel dodge right there gauges 100 mile an hour speedometer forty-three thousand eight hundred seventy-seven miles and on a motorhome that could well be accurate maybe the first time around it's uh it's dial we've got all kinds of gauges here temperature fuel alternator oil everything you need there's your ac cool hot off max ac regular ac <coughs> excuse me tell us something caught my throat and uh the dog house is in the way here what are we gonna do got the original am fm cassette radio there actually it's not the original it's made by realistic so it's a radio shacker lighter washer wiper big old uh sun visors although not really sure you need much of a sun visor with that giant overhang there 
Although I guess if you're heading straight west, maybe you do. Look at this, this was last, the oil change last done at Grease Monkey in Wheat Ridge, Colorado in 2002 with 44,726. No, that's when the next one's due. So it was done probably at 41,726. So this thing's traveled a couple thousand miles in the last 20 odd years. These seats are cool, low backs, so your head ends up back in the uh, cabin if you get rear-ended. Or well, probably not, this thing is all crumple zone, right? Very cool. I wonder, do these swivel? Maybe the passenger one. No, it doesn't look like it based on the base. But let's take a look from the other side. Here's the handbrake, hood release, big old accelerator pedal. I think that needs one of those aftermarket barefoot pedals on it, doesn't it? That would look, that would really make it fitting. And here, oh, here's the VIN. Dodge, Fargo, Plymouth, DeSoto. This was built, doesn't exactly say. That's the conversion ID number. And that's the, the VIN. Max gross vehicle weight, 10,500. Very cool. So let's, uh, let's walk around to the passenger side because that's also how we get into this bad boy. We've got the 1995 Colorado Annual State Parks pass there. No idea how many years they actually had it, but if that's the only year that's on there, then that's probably the only year they had it, right? Um, let's see, moving this dog cast out of the way. Ah, oh, there it is. There's the big boy. Look at that carburetor, oh, still complete. No one's pulled this thing yet. Although I'm sure someone will. You've got four big vents here in these dashboards and a fairly deep glove box made out of metal. But this is kind of a plastic. Is that metal too? Yeah, that's metal too. Everything's metal. And a little strap to help you get in. Cool. And up here, you've got a vinyl covering on the roof. And another one of these low back, kind of cool, almost disco style seats. Let's go, uh, let's take a look inside, shall we? I think there's louvered windows. Very nice. Yeah, let's let's take a look. So what can we see here? Here's the door, actually. Someone already took the door off its hinges. So sold by Schweitzer's Camper Center in Garden City, Kansas. Neat. And then here's the RVIA Industry Association. And Kit. I guess Kit is the manufacturer, right? Could be, because that's whose ID was a uh, was on there. So let's uh let's take a look inside here. We're entering in the rear door. We've got a grab handle. Paneling's coming off. Oh yeah. Look at this. First you got the magic chef oven. Full kitchen center with a straw wane, straw wane, yeah, little uh, fan unit, nice. Got this lovely full kitchen here with a sink, little drip tray, yeah, neat. Curtains, very cool. Let's uh, let's actually look. Ooh, what's this? Bathroom. Oh wow, it's huge. There's your tub shower combo. All kinds of ventilation here your toilet which i'm not going to touch i'm actually not going to go in here but this is as close as i get but that's actually pretty roomy that's not that's not bad at all then you've got some shelving back here cabinetry and shelves drawers big light with wood paneling in the middle of it towel racks not bad what else do let's let's keep looking at this thing oh you even had an oven here oh with cookie sheets in there cozy and here's the big Dometic gas electric fridge. Made in Sweden, because that's where Dometic is from, I believe. Oh, that's kind of nasty. But, oh, yep, that's the fridge. Storage above the fridge. More storage next to the fridge. Then here, is that a water tank? I guess. The bunk, just untreated plywood, and then a bunk above it. Here's your card table or eating table, dining room table, everything table, I guess. Kind of how you hang out. More shelving. Here's the inside of the uh, large AC unit we saw on the roof. There's your controls. You have a, looks like a 20 amp socket up there to plug maybe a fan or something else in. Neat, vents are cool. Love the color here. It's kind of an orange, a burnt orange. The whole floor is a little wonky. Hoses underneath here, more hoses there. And look at that, there's the whole front cabin. And then up here is where you really wanna be, except for you know low bridges and stuff like that. The upper bunk, 
with reading lights there. Ventilation, these windows open. The top vent there is neat. That window opens, but the front windows do not open. So, but yeah, if you were a little kid, you could just hang out there and look straight ahead. That'd be kind of fun, huh? Yeah, love this thing. Got a fire extinguisher. That was last uh, purchased in April 1978. Well, do not remove tag. Okay, we shall not. Is it empty? Yeah, it must. Yep, recharge. Cool. Yeah, this is very interesting. All right, let's head out of this and see what else there is we can see around here. Try not to fall down again. There we go. Yeah, I mean, she is, it's big, big and cool. I love this thing. But yeah, I wonder, you know, look at that. A lot of hail damage here on the back. It's interesting. Very, that's what happens to aluminum here in the Rockies when there's hail. What else do have here? King of the Road, National Motor Club member. Also a member of the Good Sam Club. That's the official or general RV association that you see a lot here in the United States. Yeah, and then what else? Here, oh, here's the controls for the heater, I guess. Propane heater, usually. American Appliance Manufacturing Company, Santa Monica, California. Cool, and then this pops up when you're not maintaining it. Yeah, there's little cubbies down here for storage, or electrical, whatever. And uh, yeah, neat, well, I know we've done one of these vans before. This isn't the first time we've done this. So hope you enjoyed it. If you liked what you saw, please do subscribe and like, and we will make more of these videos. Thank you. Goodbye.